All right, snake eye training. These are just like regular Mark 82s, except they got these giant fins on the back, almost like speed brakes. They'll slow these things down to a crawl. Uh, so uh, first thing we're gonna do, make sure we're in master arm on, of course. Air to ground, and you'll notice I've got nothing but snake eyes. I've got 12 of them, and we're gonna do uh, single ripple six enter and impact spacing will do um, 50 feet alright so what I'm doing there is I've got uh, I'm gonna take half of my mark 82 snake eyes I'm gonna ripple them and drop them uh, drop six of them only six not all 12 50 feet apart from each other so that they hit the ground uh, 50 feet apart so we're gonna come in on the target so snake eyes uh, they because of the drag that they produce with their speed brakes I'm gonna take the altitude hold off in order to get if you watch my dumb uh, dumb bomb drop uh, video you'll know that this release cue horizontal line here this thing right here has to be below the bomb impact pipper in order for you to actually release uh, the bomb or you can use that as your timer and just hold the release until it gets below it and then it'll release but the computer won't let you release it until it's below it so if you want to use the visual on mark 82's it's more of a shallow uh, drop but uh, with 82 snake eyes you gotta get really steep and I'll show you what I mean here so let's push nose down here and watch how long it takes how vertical we have to be before that release cue will actually get below the pipper I'm gonna have to point almost directly down to the ground and now I can drop now that's fine if that's what you want to do if you want to come down at a, at a high angle and drop those things uh, almost pointed directly towards the ground if you get a lot of altitude that's fine um, but I'll sh I'm gonna show you how I use the snake eye and I believe how the snake w uh, snake eye was designed to be used and that is high speed low altitude so because it's high drag you can get down low to the ground and that uh, release cue is going to go below the uh, uh, pipper even when you're pointed straight forward and horizontal and I'll show you what I mean here in a second all right, so we're gonna come in nice and low here, and you'll notice that release cue is dropping because I'm low and fast. Even though I'm flying horizontal, low and fast, and now the pipper starts to rise. Line this up. This works really well on convoys like we got here. So this is best case scenario. Cap flare. Cap flare. All right, high drag snake eyes. Hope that helps, uh, and you can get out there, and start taking out convoys.